Right, it's another live video. Um, let's just share to Facebook if I can. Am I live? Yeah. Right, I've just shared that to Facebook. Um, basically, let you know that I'm still okay. And I to um, Atomic um, Bagwell there. Um, glad you've uh, joined me. Um, glad you both joined me because somebody else who's joined me as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, Basically, um, I've heard from um, one of my Facebook friends um, that if you suffer with special needs, um, it's less likely that you'll be resuscitated. They stick a DNR on your um, notes, which means do not resuscitate. And um, I think that uh, that's awful because we, we need to be treated equally regardless of age, disability, gender, whatever. We need to be treated equally. I don't think it's right. It's not. It's terrible. Um, just because we have um, a problem, we are treated differently. Um, I've been praising the NHS um, for ages. I still do, still absolutely praise it. But um, we've we've got to um, make sure that we're all treated as an equal. Um, otherwise, it's not fair. Um, so there we are. And um, throughout um, today, um, there's a particular um, news article. Um, one of the um, union people, i just look it up because I forget his name. I don't think this individual really is even worth a mention. It's so unfortunate. Um, but anyway, um, if you look further down my profile, you'll see it. But this union person was saying he was going to have a party if... Uh, Boris Johnson popped his clogs. Well, that's just wrong on all levels um, because that was the sort of thing that we used to talk about um, when we were in school. Um, if we didn't like um, what one of our um, school friends or whatever, we would say, oh, I hope you die and all that sort of rubbish you know i mean nobody really meant it but um it's just so immature you know it really is immature i mean when you're 10 when you're 13 maybe but not a grown-up man who's similar age to me i don't know i would say he's probably about my sort of age possibly older than me and well why i mean you might not necessarily agree with um with with, with boris johnson but you don't have to wish him dead that, that that's just totally and utterly wrong i mean 
I will say my piece to people that I won't um, wish them dead. It's awful. You know, I mean, stop piles of toilet paper, pass it on. Well, um, I've got more than enough toilet paper, thank you. Um, I'm glad to say, uh, Jamie Green there. Um, I heard you were going on Naked Attraction. No, that's 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 not my sort of thing. Um, I would never do that um, unless, of course, somebody paid me billions of um, pounds to do it. Um, I'm not going to do it. Uh, thank you very much, but um, I think I'll pass on that one, actually. But, um, but yeah, but um, I, I feel I kind of uh, right. owe you uh, an apology, all of you, uh, because oh. I attempted um, an 80s show um, by collecting videos off YouTube and playing them, oh. um, and... Um, it didn't turn out quite as good as I thought. Um, the quality was absolutely rubbish. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I know I could have perhaps got the body for naked attraction. Um, or I should say I used to, but um, I don't think it would be a particularly good sight now. Um, I know I can still do the muscle trick but I, I actually one thing I would say um, I actually got more the physique of um, a wrestler um, as opposed to a bodybuilder or more the physique of a power lifter sort of thing to a bodybuilder I mean there is a difference um, I'm actually rather um, overweight um, and, and out of condition um, now um, because the last few years of me doing my workouts, it wasn't so much to look good. It was more for the sake of um, just building um, physical strength, if you see what I mean as opposed to um, to actually um, looking really good sort of thing. So unfortunately, I've got rather a sort of beer belly. If you was to actually see my middle part these days. What's that? Lucas says, that's silly, that, that is um, not worth the mention. Yeah, I should, yeah, perhaps maybe I should do a YouTube video on how to get the arms. Um, maybe, maybe I should do that, but um, I mean, that would be quite hard to actually do. Um, my uh, my advice would be um, if you're going to get big arms like that, like I've got, um, it's sort of uh, you need to um, train the muscles and mm. um, then 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 let them recover. Um, you don't want to do it sort of literally every single day. Um, sort of. Um, maybe do your top half and, and then the bottom half and sort of thing, do a day's workout and then take the next day to sort of rest and recuperate. And um, probably around about sort of three to five times a week, um, but never train the same body parts um 
the following day if you see if you see what i mean um just um do your um top half and then do the bottom half perhaps later on in the day and then days rest and then same again sort of sort of every uh, every other day um no more than sort of three to five times a week uh, would be more than um, sufficient um would you say you're bigger than um i'm bigger than a lot of people um i've got more um muscles than say um arnold schwarzenegger um because he does it for a look whereas i went on more to do it for um physical strength but um how can i put it um i wouldn't be as strong as um somebody like eddie hall um that that wouldn't be um i wouldn't wouldn't be as um powerful as he is because um for a start he's a lot younger than me um plus he takes um more um, supplements um a lot of us of course myself included probably actually shaved uh, probably about um, a decade or so of our lives uh, because we really sort of uh, gone for it. Um, so um, unfortunately, of course, I can't do very much because of this um, shoulder, my right shoulder. Mind you, it's probably your left, but but certainly it's my right shoulder that's giving me trouble. Um, it's something to do with the uh, super spinatus tendon um well not so much tendon but last time i went to see the consultant he said it's probably more to do with the uh, bone it's the coming from the bone um that's what he told me anyway but it sort of feels like i've got impingement going on within the uh shoulder i don't think it's as bad as it once was but i can't quite um get it uh, back to um, how it used to be before I actually done the injury itself. But I can show you how I did the injury. I don't recommend this. But to those of you who don't know what this is, this is what we call a bull worker. Okay. And... Um, I was using really bad form uh, when I was working out with it and um, supposed to elbows up and just push it in basically you know, you used to be able to get it all the way in but um, of course, because of my shoulder problem, I can't. But, of course, um, what I was doing was sort of pushing it in and then my, forced my other arm down to get it in a bit further. And whilst I managed to push it all the way, of course, I managed to fuck up my shoulder, which um, wasn't very good. Just leave that there. I mean, this is a live video, so um, the quality might not be um, as good as um, as if it was, say, a um, video that I had done and then put it on sort of thing. So, but um, there we are. Let's read through some of these comments.
So, yeah. Um, one thing I would say is um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, obviously hit the subscribe button and um, then, of course, you'll know that I made a video. So hit the subscribe button and um, basically um, you'll see what I um, what I actually uh, do. Um, Jamie, unfortunately, um, I wish I did get paid for doing the undateables, but sadly, that's not the case. Um, you don't get paid for, for doing documentaries. Um, I wish I wish things were a bit different. Um, I really do. Um, it would be nice to um, to actually get paid, uh, but. Unfortunately, um, that's uh, that's how the land lies. Um, a lot of people do ask me that. Um, do I actually get paid for it? Um, I mean, I wish that that was the case, but um, it's not. Um, I do like to um, when when I when I go on, um, I, I do like to make it more. Um, entertaining if if at all possible um i like to have a mess about um have you strayed out your five mile radius recently um probably not uh, probably not but um there we are But yeah, thank you um, for smashing the um, subscribe button, um, Lucas. But thanks, Jeff, James, for encouraging us all to wash our hands. Yes, um, always. My advice would be wash your hands. You know, I mean, I can't really criticise because I'm a little bit slap dash indoors even though actually i don't um go out very much um basically it's very rare that i go out but when i do go out when i come in i always wash my hands always and um, when i prepare food i wash my hands what's your opinion about 5g um well um i don't know um jamie um what 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 it's all about but um i gather that um it's sort of more um powerful and you can sort of it'll penetrate the walls of um, the house so you can use your mobile phone indoors w without wi-fi um i mean actually when i use my um mobile phone um it's always used off Wi-Fi anyway, but um, there have been funny things circulating on the internet. Um, I don't know how true it is, but um, I'm not going to put it out there um, because I don't know whether it is true or not, but they say that 5G causes coronavirus, but um, I'm not so sure. To be honest, I don't think it does. Um, I think it's just um, a, a virus that's um, going around. Um, yeah, Jamie, a lot of Jamie um, Sylvester, Sylvester, I think it is. I don't know, but a lot of people love me. <laughs> but um, there we are. Um, I don't know, um, well, I don't know where your mum is, Lucas. She's probably a long way from me. Usually people are a long way from me, that those that want to date me. Um, usually anyway, it's the way it seems to work out. <clears throat> but, 
but um, I use StreamYard to um, to actually uh, do live um, videos um, because um, YouTube um, have this funny thing where they won't actually let you um, use their own um, platform unless you've got over a, a thousand subscribers for some funny reason I, I don't know why but um they won't um won't let me for some reason um broadcast live um but i read their terms and um, of course they say well um you can use other software to do it but um, I don't know why they don't just let you use their own, but then, then again, of course, it doesn't really matter to me anyway because what I do is I just, um, I actually just uh, subscribe uh, to, to another um, software thing and um, post it to uh, YouTube and then it goes on to Facebook. So... Um, What's my favourite kids' cartoon? I, I don't know. Um, it's a long time since I was a kid, so really I, I can't remember. Uh, we're going back um, near enough 40 years here um, because I'm 46 now, so um, it's it's rather a long time ago um, since I was about seven. Um, I mean, I can tell you some of the ridiculous things that I've got up to um, throughout that time. Um, when I was um, a child and when I was a young adult, um, there were all sorts of things we used to get up to um, in class, um, the usual things, uh, messing about in class, and then, of course, the teacher going, get outside now. And um, sometimes we'd refuse to go outside and um, basically hold up the whole of the uh, the class. And um, before you knew where you were, of course, that the, the afternoon gone so quickly that it was home time, and <laughs> we hadn't done any work. Oh, and. Um, Later on, of course, after I left um, school and gone into residential care, that sort of thing, and you'd team up with somebody who was more um, able than, well, same ability as you, or more able than you, and cause havoc. And, um, of course, they... Decided they didn't like you, sort of thing. The staff at the place decided they didn't like you, and they were that really unprofessionally towards you, and all that sort of stuff, as they did to other people. And um, they had this sort of funny thing where they would stop your um, pocket money because you got a bit of your um, SDA, severe disablement allowance and um, basically what would happen is uh, they didn't like what you were doing if you were late for your lessons or whatever they, they would stop your money so they decided that they would stop my uh, money and um, so of course I I kept on um, going to the senior managers and all that sort of stuff. And sorry, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. That's the way it is in, in this place. You know, you have to toe the line like everybody else because if you're in a job, they'll stop your money and all that sort of stuff and eventually you'll get the sack. But I didn't like the way they were doing that. So, of course... I, um, I I said to them, you know, that's not right and you shouldn't be doing it. And um, so I said to them, you know, um, you better stop doing this because it's actually theft. And even if you're not really doing it, it's actually theft to do it, to 
mess about with people's um, money, whether it's benefits or whatever or, or, or anything like that. Um, when you're in a job, you'll lose your money. But I don't see why it should be any different when you're here. So I said, OK, fine, fine. Um, I will um, talk to the police. I didn't say anything to them about this, but I kept on sending it to the police. And um, I think in the end, the police started to ask questions. And um, so, of course, I told them that it was me doing this. Um, I've spoken to one of the senior managers and said, oh, so we can't discipline the uh, students then. I said, well, you can, but, you know, you don't take people's money. And of course, it costs £25,000 to keep us there. Um, but I used the excuse um, that they're training us up. Well, no, no, that's not fair. You don't, you don't do that. I mean, it's it's, it's really awful. So, <laughs> anyway, um, my other gripe was that they would um, take money off you for cookery lessons for, for for the ingredients for the food. So, of course, I. Of course, I question now. I asked them, you know, how much does it costs. You know, remind me how much it costs uh, per patient to keep us here. You know, I mean, I said, I think you can afford to uh, to at least let us have that one for for nothing. At least, I said that isn't right. Totally and utterly wrong. I said to him, you know, I mean, I think that. Another thing um, that came to my mind was um, we got £15 per week per patient for food when I was in there. And um, basically, if you um, didn't have enough money, that was your tough luck. So... Um, I remember saying to them, you know, um, my mum usually spends about between 15 and 20 pounds per week per person for food. And so I remember saying to them, you know, I think we need a little bit more um, because actually a lot of people were overspending. Um, I, I didn't usually overspend, but... You know, I mean, I think that we all needed a little bit of extra um, on that, really. So there we are. But um, I think it was, well, it was an awful time um, at uh, the place I went to. I'm not going to even mention them, but um, the place is closed now anyway. And um, I think it's a better place. But I was actually put in there, um, and I didn't know why I was there. Um, it was a place for people with epilepsy, but I never actually had any seizures in my life. So straight away I was questioning, you know, why was I there and all that sort of stuff. But um, the deal was that they would do motor mechanics, because that's, that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a motor mechanic. Um I wanted to train to be a motor mechanic and be really good at it, but sadly, it didn't come, didn't come about. So there we are. But Lucas, no, I'm not going to go into into that. I'm not going to go into sex tutorials. Um, I don't think there's any need. I know an awful lot, but I don't think I need to go into that. So, um, so anyway, um, a reminder, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more um, videos. Um, I think I've rambled on enough. 
So uh, I'll leave you all in peace and wish you all 7-3.